morning everyone i just got to my fitness studio i'm about to do a tone and sculpt class i am starting a new fitness program today i just finished up an eight week program it was a lot of fundamental movements like squats lunges deadlifts upper body with dumbbells i was able to move up like five ten pounds in most of the exercises that i did i feel like it was a nice start to get into a routine, get the basics down, get a little bit of strength back up. But I'm excited to switch it up and start doing new things in the gym. I am going to be incorporating one group fitness class a week, so that is what I am doing today. Also, I just got the Sherpa belt bag from Lululemon. I did not need another belt bag. I already have the black one, but I wear it all the time. And this one is just so cute. I'll link it down below. I'm pretty sure it's sold out quite fast last year so if you want to get your hands on it they also have a brown and a black they should be letting us into the class any minute now so i'm gonna go get super sweaty and i'll talk to you guys later i just got back from the gym and i did a mini grocery run picked up some LaCroix. I actually haven't got this in a while. I used to get this like every single time. I got this kale Caesar salad. I'm gonna cook chicken and do like a chicken Caesar. I also got poppy seeds because I'm gonna make either poppy seed cookies or poppy seed bread. And then the rest of this is kind of snacky. I always like picking up a green juice. There's generally a juice on sale. So these ones were on sale. It's just apple, cucumber, celery. These are currently my favorite cookies. I picked up two midday squares. I love the almond one. And I've never seen these RX bars before, but they sounded really good. Banana chocolate walnut. I got this package in last night and I started opening it and then I decided I was gonna wait until I was filming and do a little bit of a first impression. This portion of the video is sponsored by Lululemon. Earlier this year, I'm pretty sure it was earlier this year, they came out with this program called the Like New Program. And currently it's only available in the US, so this is only for my US viewers. I am hoping the program does well and they eventually bring it to Canada. So basically how it works, if you have any gently used Lululemon products in your closet that maybe you don't really wear, you can bring it into the store and you'll get store credit for your items. I'll have a link to the site below because it's separate from the original Lululemon site. So you swap your clothes, get a gift card, and then your previously owned items will be for sale on the like new program. I wasn't really sure what to expect with the pieces, which is why I kind of wanted to do a first impression, but I already opened this one. So I saw this bomber and it is an extra large, which I was happy about because I wanted an oversized fit. They actually rebrand it and it says like new on the inside. This literally looks like a brand new jacket. There's not a single thing wrong with it. And it comes packaged all nicely, the rebranding. And I wasn't totally sure how this was gonna fit, but I love it. The size is perfect. Another thing I like about this program is I find it with Lululemon, sometimes their products will sell out and they don't restock or maybe they, they don't come back for a while. So if you had your eye on something previously that's not available anymore, maybe they're gonna have it on the Like New site. And this is a pair of Align pants in the color Gray Sage. And this is a color that's not available on the new site right now. I haven't tried them on yet, but they're my size, so I'm sure it'll all work out. The next item I got is the City Sweat Crew sweater in black, and I got it in size 10, so I wanted it to be oversized. So that is what that looks like. I'm gonna put everything on. So here's the crew neck. It's just a nice relaxed fit. And then the aligns, these ones are the crop like seven, eight length. They fit exactly how I was expecting. And then here's the jacket. So that is my full outfit from the like new site. I'll have it linked down below. I also have a discount code for you guys. You'll get 10% off. So I'll put that on the screen and have it down below. And yeah, if you live in the States and you have some Lululemon stuff in your wardrobe that you don't really wear, definitely bring it in and you'll get a gift card to go buy new Lululemon stuff. I think I've finally decided what I'm gonna do with this front room. Also, thank you for all of your suggestions. I got a lot of different comments and ideas. I read through all of them. Um, a bunch of you were suggesting making this area into a little office like studio. This area is technically a den. 
I just find that for me, every time I've had a desk, I've never really used it. I, I always end up working from the counter or my couch. And I also need more storage for shoes and things, which is why I got this and it's been super helpful. I tried a bunch of different configurations with the furniture that I have. I'll put in some overlays here. Um, the bench is too long to go against the left wall. When it's against the far wall, I find, I don't know what I'd put above it and it just makes the big wall look really empty. And I do prefer the shoe cabinet on the right wall by the door. So I'm gonna keep that there. I'm gonna put a full length mirror against the longer wall. And then I'm gonna swap out the bench for a smaller one with storage in it. And I feel like that's gonna be the best play. I need to order a new mirror because the one that I had there in the shots I'm keeping in the living room. So I need to get another full length mirror and I know which bench I'm gonna get. So I need to order those or buy them. And that's gonna be a little makeover in there. I think it's gonna look really good. I just got to the dentist. I've been going to the same dentist since I was born. Like, I don't know how old you are when you start going to the dentist, but I've never been to a different dentist. Anyways, I've been meaning to switch. I just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm still going here. <laughs> I don't think any of my family goes here still except me. Side note, can a family doctor just drop you and not tell you? Because I've also had the same family doctor for my entire life. I had a telehealth appointment, like a kind of like FaceTime doctor call with just a random doctor that was available. And I've been doing that for like a little bit now, but they always send the appointment notes to my family doctor. And from my last appointment, they responded and said that my family doctor said that I'm not a client or a patient. I'm like, that's weird. Cause I've been with the same doctor for my whole life, but I've also been meaning to switch my family doctor. So if I'm not with them anymore, it's not a big deal, but it, like it's just kind of weird. Anyways, the reason I'm at the dentist, I'm just getting a teeth cleaning, I'm overdue, but I actually chipped my front tooth the other day on this glass water bottle. I knew the day would come because I always go to drink it. It's pretty like thick, heavy glass, and sometimes I hit my teeth. So the day happened. I'm still gonna use this though. I just need to be more careful, but it's not a big deal, but I do wanna get it fixed. And I think I'm actually gonna get some extra dental bonding done when I get this fixed. I have a consult for that in November, so I'll talk more about it then. In case you guys wanna see like dental bonding, cause I've seen a lot of people get it and it looks really good. <sighs> okay, I'm going in. This is my package from Magic Linen. I'm really excited for it. Hang on a sec. This is a weird box. Okay. Why am I so excited for this? We have some new stuff for my bedroom. Oh, this color is actually a lot more purple than I thought. It's still nice, it's interesting. Okay, these are my curtains. They're just like a natural linen color. It matches the color that I have on my bed right now. And then this is the new color that I got. It's called Rosewood. And this is the duvet cover set. I don't know if you can tell. Kind of like a purpley color. I thought it was gonna be more of like a reddish tone, but it's still really nice. Oh, this is so nice. I got another waffle blanket because I'm obsessed with the one on my bed. They're so nice. Now I have to decide what combination I wanna do. Cause I think I'm gonna mix the linen, the natural linen color and this. But I'm like, what color do I want to do the pillows? What colors the duvet cover? I have two different throw colors now. We'll see. I'm going to do some mix and match. <laughs> this lighting, I need to turn lights on, I think. this is what I'm thinking. I haven't put the comforter in here yet because I'm gonna throw it in the wash, but I think I'm gonna swap out the white cover for this color and then also just keep the same throw. I feel like this kind of looks good being the same color but different textures. And then for the pillows, I think I'm gonna keep the striped ones with the rosewood. I wanted to keep a little bit of the linen or like the natural linen color to tie in with the curtains and then also the fitted sheet is like 
the natural linen color as well. Here's the final setup. I think the color is a nice change for the fall winter, kind of warms up the room. I'll probably incorporate more white back in like spring summertime. I'm obsessed with these waffle blankets, they're my favorite. I also have these two bigger white pillows. I might keep them on the bed. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm also deciding if I want to put anything on this wall. I would either put something just in the middle, but I'm leaning more towards putting like little mirrors or art above the two side tables. I think I had art above the side tables last time. I should look at how the room looked. Just got back from Best Buy and I did a poll on my Instagram asking if I should get the Barista Express or the Barista Pro. This one was a little bit cheaper, the Express. And more people said this one, or voted for this one. So we're currently unboxing it, putting it together. I'm just gonna put it in this corner angled, I think. But isn't she so pretty? Oh, that was hard to get out, so. What was I just doing? Oh, filter. What else if you were doing two, how does that even work? It comes out one on each side. Oh. Or you just put it under both. Wait, does that fit two cups? It's confusing. Yeah. Why do they look shiny? Because that's what I know that they're not decaf. Oh, they smell so good. Decaf will be matte. Really? Yeah. And then we're gonna do one cup. I'm currently editing this vlog and it feels a little all over the place and confusing so I just vlogged random days and I'm throwing them all together. I feel like I made a lot of purchases in September. I'm going to be filming a fall clothing haul slash styling video because I got a bunch of new stuff for the fall season. I also ordered a new bench for the entryway and I have new bar stools coming or like counter chairs. I think I showed you which ones I picked out in like a previous vlog. I'm just waiting for them to get delivered. But I got my espresso machine, like that was like quite an, an investment. But anyways, I feel like I've just spent a lot of money recently. So I've decided for all of October, I'm not gonna buy anything except obviously necessities like food i need to get like some cleaning supplies stuff like that i might make one exception if i find a mirror for the front room because that's just something i've been like wanting to finish for a really long time i also need to return a few things and that's going to make me feel a little bit better <laughs> with my spending habits currently no shopping october is the plan all right i think i'm going to end the vlog here i'm going to finish editing get it ready to get posted it's gonna go up on monday if you're watching this on monday i hope you guys have a great week and i'll see you in the next week peace out